yeah good evening friends uh actually my name is uh, martins adam uh, i'm just doing this uh, video to uh, express my uh, feelings about what is really happening in this country and i found out that uh, if not all the embassies in nigeria right now are using fraudulent ads to defraud the citizens of this dear country and i want uh, the foreign ministry of foreign affairs to start looking into the activities of these embassies they are using nigeria as a means where they milk people of their hard-earned money because they want to apply for visas to travel out of this country and meanwhile not everybody who want to travel out of this country is going for permanent residency there are most of us who are just going for business to meet with our business partners and return currently i just applied for uh, the turkish embassy visa where i paid uh, for uh, 640 dollars for visa fee for i and my wife because we qualified for a trip that will be sponsored by our partners and the company we partner with in Malaysia. We have almost about 65 different uh, business partners from different countries we qualified. And we in Nigeria here, just about 10 of us we applied. Out of those 10 of us, only three were granted visa. The rest, the embassy collected our money and denied our visa we have all requirements as everybody who we are submitting their documents have funds when i say funds we have millions in our accounts and after all this they denied us visa why am i doing this they are using this medium to defraud nigerian if you know that you are not going to get grant visa to people why collect visa fee from them imagine 640 dollars and i paid 18000 naira for courier service for i and my wife everything amount to about uh 520000 naira i spent that very day imagine how many persons weekly goes in there to submit the application how many will be issued visa so the foreign affairs ministry should be able to start waking up and looking into this the earlier the better you apply for visa they collect your money and they deny you and the funny part what boils my mind is that you now went and snap stamp my passport for what they went to stamp my passport you collected my money and you stamp my passport why what happened So Foreign Affairs minister, Ministry should please wake up to their responsibility. Why are they collecting huge visa fee from Nigeria and at the same time denying them visa? It, the reverse should be if you know that your application is successful, you pay your visa fee. If the application is not fair, you go away. Don't, don't need. So why collect money, people, collect money and you, grant them, you, you deny them visa? It boils my mind. And I've been thinking over there since two days ago I collected. I've been thinking what to do. And I believe right now we Nigerians, citizens of Nigeria, should come out to protest against this. This is robbery. This is theft. This is scam. You collect visa fee from people and you deny them visa. Why do you collect money from them? Please. I want us to share this video until get to the appropriate authority we nigerians can never be fooled again we nigerians cannot be treated as fools again in this country i have partners from south africa who apply their visa from the comfort of their home i understand why all this 
probably cause Nigeria upon to travel, but not everybody who is traveling is going to stay permanently. Why denying visa to people who are going with proven with documents, proven documents for vacation, sponsored and everything, deny them visa? It boils my mind, and that is why I'm making this video. Please, we need to wake up, ministry. Foreign Minister of Affairs, please wake up to your responsibility. Start check meeting it. They are getting collecting visa fee dollars upon dollars. The funny thing is that Turkey Embassy collects dollars. It's it's it's, it's so hard. In short, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I don't know how many persons they have collected money and yet refused them visa. So please, ministry. Come to the aid of Nigerians. Thank you very much. God bless you all.